Hello, I think I'm live now. <laughs> okay, all right. Um, this is Revelation Ruth. I am doing a quick, 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 quick broadcast. Um, you know, Holy Spirit's been putting it on my heart really since last year. Um, I I made an Instagram page about certain numbers, prophetic numbers of the Lord. Um. But I never went on Periscope and talked about it. So, um, and I think because people ask about numbers all the time. And certainly there are some of us who see numbers, but we don't, we study them, and but we don't say anything. And I think I should say something because the Holy Spirit keeps talking to me about it. Um, so usually I want to, I want to say one, this is my first um scope about numbers i usually just talk about about it amongst the few other prophetic people that um i'm in conversation with but i've been studying for years i've been seeing them for years and you know um sometimes it's as simple as asking the holy spirit right away what they mean and sometimes it's not that simple sometimes um they want, oh, I'm not alive. Okay. Um, <laughs> sometimes um, the Holy Spirit wants us to seek out more information. So uh, when you read the scriptures, you will find more information on it. God is his word. He says it's his word right there in the beginning. Um, and so he can speak to you in many, many different ways. I want to just first lay the groundwork before I go into the numbers thing, because I need people to understand that I don't um, do numerology. I'm not into numerology or um, anything weird like that. But there are some people, I think, on Periscope who are into stuff like that. So I just wanted to kind of counter, be like the counter person, especially because um, the Holy Spirit keeps telling me to do it. So I'm going to do it, you know, no matter who's doing it. I don't know if anybody's doing it already. Um, I've seen things about 111 because I think everybody sees that, you know, and that is transition. That is truly transition. I see it all the time. I saw it many times today. I see 211 a lot, 511, 611. They are numbers of God. You know, they are God's numbers. He has a book called Numbers. Okay. And so you'll see at the beginning of some chapters, um, it usually says in the um, in the reign of, in the fifth year of this king's reign and this season or this month. So it'll tell you the month, the year, the season and everything in, in certain chapters. So you have to know that numbers are important to God. Our, the hair on our head, they're numbered, right? So know that this really doesn't have anything to do with anything with numerology. And I know that the devil does um, many times mimic all the time. Um, yeah, God is real. Um, mimic what God does. So just know that there are people out there who study numbers in a different way. I study numbers based on the Bible. Bible. So, hi, God bless. So, I'm going to talk. I'm going to. So, I just wanted to lay that groundwork. Yes, I'm a believer. I'm Christian. I like to say I'm a believer because all Christians are not the same. Holy Ghost filled, you know, tongue speaking type of Christian who is not only a hearer, but a doer and developing more and more every day as a doer of his word. So, I wanted to. Um, do what the Holy Spirit is telling me. And let's just jump into it, right? It won't be a long scope. I just want to explain some of the few numbers. I see a lot of numbers, first of all. So um, you can ask questions about numbers. I'm not really going to stray off that topic because I have limited time and I just want to um, do what I'm supposed to do and, <laughs> and get out of, off of here because I never actually talked about numbers before on Periscope. So um, I'm going to give you some scriptures. I'm going to tell you what um, I know they mean based on 
my conversations in the past with the Holy Spirit um, based on notes that I've taken and also, you know, scriptures. My notes are with scripture anyway. And we could read a few things together. Okay. So first of all, let's talk about 747. I've been seeing it a lot. There are certain times that I see it. Um, and 747 and 748, um, relate to going up in the spirit, going higher in the spirit. Okay. So when you are going higher in the spirit, um, uh, God bless you. Um, God will start like, if he's dealing with you with numbers, right, you're going to start seeing certain numbers. Okay. Some of them mean you need to pray. You need to get on the wall and pray. And for those of you who know your watchman, if you don't know what watchman means, I don't think I'm going to go into it right now. But if you know you're a watchman, then you're up different hours of the night praying. Like, and your hours may change throughout the seasons. And he's probably trying to tell you to pray. Like, before I got on, I saw 9-11, 9-11 p.m. And I just started speaking in tongues when I saw 9-11 p.m. Cause I already know. <laughs> so for me, when I see the numbers, it's telling me something. He's speaking to me and God desires full blown relationship with us. Right. He wants to hear us throughout the day. He doesn't want to have, um, you know, extended time without us. Okay. He is a jealous guy. So, um, that's really true. <laughs> so let's not try to get um, things to replace him and certainly seeing things about numbers. Yeah. Twice in a week. Oh, I see it a lot. I see it on my charger, my battery. So that is going to mean new beginnings. And anytime you see it in triples like that, like I see four, 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 five, 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 I see 88 usually on my battery. Um, it means that you're having a new beginning. And I, I, I but really believe that where you see it and how you see it is something that you should document, right? Because it's telling you something. So because I see it on my battery, for me, when I see 88% charge, right? That's usually how I see it is what I'm saying. I know it's, it's God telling me you're facing a new beginning right now and you need to get your energy up, you need to get charged up. So I literally would start praying in tongues and charging myself in the spirit. Now you can um, charge yourself up. Yeah. So when you see it, Jacqueline is your name. When you say, and welcome to my scope. Um, I never saw you before. But I really hope you return. I, I said to Lord, I said to Lord, I'm going to do these. I know I haven't been on in a while. Been praying um fasting you know in and out of fasting and i you know i would check out other people's scopes but i haven't scoped in a while and i was like lord numbers are my thing like it's my thing for real i see like all the numbers okay a lot of them let's just say a lot of them i know there's some that probably other people see that i don't see but i see a lot of them um but career talking about career has always been my thing because it's my actual work and that's what I've been doing for many years but I see I've seen numbers for many years so like um let's go back to how you see it right so I might see 747 on the time clock on the timestamp what does that mean for me that means this is the time that you're going up in the realm of the spirit and I actually was on Ruben Arana's and I thought so anyway because I was having new experiences these last two weeks but I kept seeing 747 and 748 and what God would do sometimes is oh oh I was going I was you know I cut myself off sometimes so I was saying that Ruben Arana if you know about his scope he does like artsy scopes I'm in and out of there like sometimes, but now I'm in there more because he does interpretation of tongues and I'm like, oh snap, I haven't seen this really quite like this anywhere. So I'm on his scope now more. Um, and he, when he was interpreting my tongues, he actually, he actually confirmed it for me that basically I was going up a level in the realm of the spirit. I was going up some levels, chopping on boards and whatever, all that stuff. Um, but 
747, 748, I always see around the time that I'm going up in the realm of the spirit. So what does going up in the realm of the spirit really mean? Now, I can't tell you the fullness of what it means, but I can tell you every time it happens, there's some hurdle because there was something crazy that happened with my family this week. Okay. There's some hurdle. Then there's a whole lot of praying for me. Um, some new, um, let's call it craziness or, or demons are introduced, right? And then you got to battle them off. Kind of like a video game, but serious life and death. Like it can be life and death, you know, very serious. Um, but it's, it's like that. Um, so you're going up in the realm of the spirit because you're praying against things. You're, um, you might be attracting more angels with your prayers too. So you might have new, a new set of angels around you. You have may have new assignments. And I know I'm being, I know I'm being sent to new assignments, right? I'm just taking it on as I feel led or as I get them. So, um, and if you have questions about other numbers, that's not on the list, feel free to ask me. Cause I'm probably going to do a real quick scope. Um, so I'll just jump in and try to answer your question if I see that number. But so for 747, so sometimes God will show it to me on a time clock. Usually I see it on a time clock. If I'm outside, I might see it on some other sign. But I really think what you see it on and when you see it is important too as to what he's trying to say to you. Because God speaks to us in parables many times, you know, and people want him to fit in a certain box and only speak to us in certain ways when he doesn't have to. <laughs> He's God, right? So yes, it's very true, Jacqueline. So um, I learned to not put God in a box, okay? Because he's been speaking to me since I was younger and I didn't even know. I thought I was psychic, but we cast that down in the name of Jesus. So um, <laughs> I used to be like, why do I know that? I used to read the kids' palms and be like, why do I know? that I don't know why I know but I didn't know I didn't know I was prophetic yeah you know we all got to come through some way right but we are redeemed in the blood of the lamb so again this is not just in case anybody just joined um and for you those of you on the replay I am born again Christian tongue speaking I do not you know Holy Spirit feel I do not believe in numerology but um when you read the Bible you know, numbers stand out all the time. They'll tell you how many soldiers, 600 soldiers, 300 soldiers. That's how you kind of come to know and study what 300 means in the Bible. 330 is usually like start of ministry. Um, you think about 30, think about Jesus, you know, it's like the starting or ending of things, right? Um, um, and 30 pieces of silver is what he was sold for. So, by reading the Bible and what numbers correlate to whatever it is, right? It might be gold, it might be silver, it might be the cubic feet that a tabernacle, um, they had specifications, right? For the tabernacles, how it was supposed to be built, what size, what length, what width. That is even important. Those things are important to God because he's an orderly God. If you just look around the world and look at how people do buildings and all the, all the masonry that we have, you know, um, God is orderly. You can see that in architecture and everything. So, and that all, yes, that all comes from God, even if um, heathens are building them. <laughs> So they don't know they're getting God thoughts too. But um, so 747, right? Also in the natural, right? Oh, 93, you know? I see 939. 939 is in the Bible. So study um 93. It is significant because nine is usually finality. But it's do it's um in the Hebrew language, there's like a lot of duality, right? So um uh they didn't use they didn't write numbers the way we write them, they wrote them out in words, they spelled them out in words. So Hebrew numbers actually mean something, okay? Um, and you can tell by what you know certain um numbers numbers correlate with. 
the Hebrew character, I'm going to come on and do a different scope about that. Because if I get into that, I mean, <laughs> we're going to be here all night and not trying to do that. So got to work tomorrow. So then, so, okay, I was talking about the, the planes. Here's a good way you can understand what your numbers mean when you see them too. Where you see, so Jacqueline, if you, where do you see them? Okay, where do you see 93? Do you see it on, on the time, on the clock? So like I see 147, 247, 347. And that means to me that God is lining things up for me. He's giving me a divine order, right? He's And I always ask God to order my steps. So it makes sense for me and it makes sense for you. Like I would see um, 111, 212, 313, 414, 515, 616, 717, 818, 919, 1010, 10, which correlates to John 1010. 10. So I'm going to start coming on because I feel God leading me to do this. Praise God. I mean, I really hope, you know, I cover this cope under the blood. I hope that it serves somebody because I know, I notice people do ask about the numbers, but it's really sporadic in other people's scopes. So I wanted to touch on it because I don't see anybody really doing it like that. And I feel like God is leading me to do it. But like I said, I always talk about career stuff. So I was like, oh, this is kind of not in in that vein, Lord. Um, I'm a career person. I talk about career and getting jobs and, you know, doing it the Christian way and getting promoted the Christian way. That's what I know about and that's what I do. But I think this is important too. So let's go back to 747, 748. 747, right, in the natural, is a plane, a Boeing 747, which is the longest airline we have, okay? The 747 has carried presidents. Did you know that? Okay, so like Air Force One, 747, has carried presidents. Um, in 2005, I think it was, the 748, okay, no. It's called 747-8. That um, airline was made, okay? So I see 748 on the clock, uh, 747. I also see like other 48, so like 148 on the clock, 248. Yeah, it's so right. And its wings actually are the long, like it spans longer than the actual um, airplane itself. So the wingspan is the longest. It has it has the record for being the longest. You can look that up. So what does that tell us? So God is also speaking to us naturally. He's trying to put together the puzzle for us naturally, right? But this it's not really about the number. You understand what I'm saying? It's about God wooing us. I wanted to speak in tongues on that one. <laughs> I wanted to speak in tongues on that one. It's about God wooing us to get to know him better, to know his ways, right? He says his ways are above our, his thoughts are above our thoughts. His ways are above our ways. But he wants us to search him out. It's for us kings to search out the matter, right? It's for us to search him out. So he's calling you. And when you see certain things prophetically, even not even numbers, okay? Like I see signs when I'm asking God about something in my heart that nobody else knows about. I'll be riding outside or, you know, just walking and see a sign. This happened to me a lot in Brooklyn. But I would just see a sign like that's, <laughs> that says something, you know, um, strange. It would be strange to anybody else. Like, but for me, it totally spoke to my situation at the time. And I literally did ask God for signs to know whether to move or not. Uh, Cause he was telling me to move. I heard him say, you, you are going to move to Texas. And I was like, no, no, no I'm not moving to Texas. Well, I'm going to have to tell that, that whole testimony another time. So I literally asked God in my heart, in my mind, you know, to give me confirmations, three confirmations. I hear him say, tell it now. Okay. 
<laughs> That's funny. Um, all right, let me do the quick version. So basically, on August 6th, I was in a fast and I heard the Lord. I was on the bus in Brooklyn and I heard the Lord um as well. I had a thought and I was like, why am I thinking that? That's crazy. Why am I thinking move to Texas? Move to Texas. And I said, Lord, that's crazy. Like, why am I thinking? Because I talk to the Lord anyway. So, and you know why he said to tell it now? I don't know. What? Look, my cat got scared. My cat got scared. It's okay, babe. It's okay. It's all right, babe. Just chill out. Okay. What? Oh, my gosh. I don't know, I don't know. I was like, you know, anytime I hear the Lord say something right in my ear, it's like, it's you know, it's in your head, but it's like, uh, I was trying to talk about these numbers real quick. You you told me to talk about these numbers. I said, all right, I'll do it real quick, but I wasn't gonna tell that testimony because the testimony is long, but I could do a snippet. But that's crazy. So okay, thank you for saying that because some people will hold it in. And it makes me feel better because it gives me confirmation. And, you know, I just try to obey. Okay. I just try to obey. So, yeah, I moved here in October. Still fresh. Okay. And I'm feeling it. Okay. Need a car. I don't got a car. So, anyway, so I moved from Brooklyn because the Lord said on the bus, because you are moving to Texas, it's a preeminent step. He said, you're getting an unction. I was like, Say so what? I mean, I literally looked around, but I'm, I mean, I'm accustomed with God speaking to me. It's been years that I've been saved and God's been speaking to me about people, about things, you know, telling me to go do this, to go do that. But it just seemed weird, right? I knew it wasn't demonic, but I was like, no, I'm not. I'm not moving to Texas. I got a good job. Um, I make good money here. <laughs> You know, when I think of Texas, no offense, y'all, no offense, but I, you know, I always had in my mind lynching and stuff like that. I don't know, you know, plus I'm West Indian. I was like, I don't, I don't know West Indians in Texas. I don't know anybody here. So basically, long story short, the next, so the night I, so I was fasting. I was on a fast. This is the sixth day of the fast because each month we did the number of the days of of that month. So we did like, okay, so June we did six days, right? Uh, July we did seven days. August we did eight days. And we did this all the way up to, well, I stopped around October, November. I stopped around November, but I moved in October. So it was a crazy moving while you were fasting. A nightmare. I wouldn't suggest it. But I was trying to be faithful and diligent. Anyway, so the next... It wasn't even the next day yet. The night of, because I was fasting, we were on a Zoom with this apostle. And he, he started prophesying after prayer to everybody. And he said in his thick accent, Arlene, if you're not careful, Lord's going to move you. And I was like, move me where? I ain't going nowhere. My, You know, my family's here. I'm... I'm all right. I'm rocking. You know what I mean? So <laughs> I was like, where are you talking about? What are you talking about? What do you mean? Because I know I didn't tell anybody about it, about what I heard on the bus. Nobody. I heard it. I didn't repeat it out loud. I even heard the Lord say a, a word I didn't know, preeminent step. He's like, but you are moving. You're getting an unction. And I, I had to Google preeminent real quick. I don't know why I didn't know that word, y'all. Just forgive me, okay? I don't know why I don't... I should know that word. I'm very well educated, okay? But I didn't know what that word meant. So I Googled it real quick. And I was like, oh, it's like initial step. You know, preeminent. I was like, so I knew the Lord was talking to me because I didn't even know the word. <laughs> I didn't know the word preeminent. So that was crazy. That was crazy funny. But anyway, so that night, the apostle, while we're praying on Zoom because of this fast, right? This is the two days before the fast ends, August 6th. It was a Monday. I will never forget it. Yes, yes. He big words. So he so you would know, like, yes, it's me. It's me, Jacqueline girl. I'm trying to talk to you. Knock, knock, knock. So God is funny like that too. He's <laughs> he's hilarious. So 
anyway, so I was just thinking something, but but he's funny. He's funny. He has a sense of humor. So I, so I, um, so then the apostle said that to me. I said, where? I said, I just had that thought today. It was really weird. I was like, where, 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 where? He was like, the Lord's going to speak to you. Don't you hate when people do that? <laughs> it's like, the Lord's going to speak to you. I said, what? You know, I was like, where, when, you know, what are you talking about? I heard that today. Can you tell me more? Uh, uh, the Lord's going to speak to you. Ask him, he'll speak to you. I was like, that didn't help, but it, it did really. Cause it told me, it confirmed to me that I was hearing from the Lord that day. Cause that was the night of. The next day, she was like, we want all the details. I'm I might have to skip some stuff because this is supposed to be about numbers. So so the next day, um, and somebody's gonna do the replay and be like, What I thought she was talking about the numbers. So, so anyway, um, the next day, the next morning, you know, I try to give God the whole day. Not that he needs it, but I said I had this question, and I asked him in my head, Lord. If you said yesterday that you want me to move to Texas, let me hear it three times. No, I said, let me, the next day was Tuesday and I went back to work and cause Monday I had off and I was like, let me see it three times today. So I was like, I'm in New York city. I'm not going to see nothing. I'm not going to see nothing. I'm in New York city. I never see the word Texas anywhere. <laughs> so let me tell you, girl, Jacqueline. I'm, I, <laughs> I spent the whole day and it was like kind of like the middle of the day. I didn't see it. So I was cool. Like I was like, oh, okay, okay. I was tripping. I was tripping. I was tripping. Then I saw it on a car. I saw it on some kind of paperwork. I was like, I was like, what? <laughs> I'm telling you, I was like, wait a minute. <laughs> And I was like, oh no, he's answered my prayer. <laughs> Cause I didn't want to move to Texas, y'all, for real, for real. I don't I don't know nobody here. So it just didn't make sense to me. But God knows, you know. So then the last time in the day that I saw it was when I was walking home, which was so weird. That's what happened to you. You 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 asked the Lord and then you saw it. You asked him in your heart and your mind, and then you were like. And then you saw it pop up too. So yeah, so the third time I was walking by my building and um, there's this driving school around the block from me. It's like two blocks, you would call it a block and a half down. And it's a driving school based in New York. It was parked in front of my building with a Texas license plate. <laughs> no, I was really like, I, 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 you know, like I was like, no, 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 no. <laughs> I was in the twilight zone. Like I thought I was. I was like, what? So I was like, <laughs> why is why is this Texas sign license plate? What is it doing in New York? Okay, obviously I know people come here from Texas, but I was like. It's on the driving school car. You know, they have a sign card. You know, they paint it with their company colors and everything. So that's weird to me. I was like, oh, you you trying to... <laughs> God trying to flex on me now. <laughs> it's like, not only that, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put it on a license plate that really don't even belong here. It don't even fit. Like, <laughs> So I was like, no. So I, let me tell you, y'all, I... I asked the next day. I was, was like, there's no way. So now that's August 8th. So that was the last day of my fast. The last full day, I really stopped the 9th, right? And I was like, this fasting is crazy. I'm like, I'm hearing everything. I'm seeing everything. I'm, I'm getting my answers real quick. <laughs> so on the third day now, I'm like, it's Wednesday. I ask in the morning. I'm like, okay, God. In my mind, <laughs> I know. I know we have to have faith and everything. Listen, I've heard God for a long time, okay? Um, 
long enough and I have faith, but because people was like, you asked that many times. I was like, it's a big move. What you talking about? First of all, I, I have a good job. And let me tell you how God is good. I still work for them, y'all. Remotely from Texas. Okay. They don't even do that. Where they do that at? They don't do that. So I knew it was God for sure. Because <laughs> so I was like, one, they never do that. It's against the rules, actually. Um, but my supervisor acted like she was having a nervous breakdown. Like, oh, my God, you're leaving? When I gave her my resume, and I gave them two weeks. Because once I knew, I knew. And then I got even more confirmation. It just started getting crazy. I was getting confirmation I didn't even ask for anymore. So, you know, I talked to the pastor. One of the past, the only pastor I did trust to ask the Lord and be spiritual about it because some... They want their membership up. One of them, she went buck wild on me. And somebody else told her. I didn't even tell her. Because <laughs> I, I pulled my partnership. Because I was like, I got to save money now. I'm about to leave. And then I saw a date spiritually. So I'm, I'm like rounding it out. I'm leaving out stuff. But I saw a date spiritually. And the date was October 16th. So I was like, oh, I thought you was going to give me time, God. Because like, I see stuff too. So I was like, oh. I thought she was going to give me a year, you know, six months, <laughs> you know, he's like, nah, you got like two months. You got to wrap it up. What? <laughs> I feel like, you know, I don't know. I feel like he couldn't do this to somebody who like had kids and like, you know, they, they might not, but they really should because God comes first and you can't put, put your hand to the plow and turn back. You know what I'm saying? So God comes first. Yes. My, my family were mad at me. They still mad. Um, you know, they don't understand because some of them are not saved. And then on top of that, they have like a form of godliness. So they have like religion but not a relationship with God. So they, they're not going to understand. Okay. And they like actually do things to try to get me back home and try to make me feel guilty about stuff. And nobody really helped me. Um, so for my mom, she tried to help me a little bit and she, you know, she couldn't really, really, she was tearing up paper, which is much needed, but you know, so it was a crazy, crazy, crazy time. It was a crazy time. I was crying a lot. You know, I was fasting. So I was like, you know, I was seeing, I mean, I was seeing, I was hearing, I was smelling, I was, I was smelling in my dream. I, you know, like it was wild. It was wild. And I'll be up all night, just packing, packing, packing. But anyway, so yeah, the third day I asked him to hear it. So this is just for you, Jacqueline. <laughs> So, um, the third day I asked him to hear it. This is before all of that packing and all that, of course. And so that was August 9th. Yeah. Cause it was like, yeah. So it must've been eighth or ninth that I asked him to hear it. Cause I was freaked out. So I think I took a break. <laughs> it was like, you know, you, you asked him too much. Like, late, you know, maybe you come back another day and he'll say something different. So I might have asked on the ninth, and then I was like, you know, I asked in my heart, Lord, um, can you let me hear the word Texas? You know, I try to be, it's like Gideon's prayer to me, and it's always worked for me. So that's what I, that's what I do. That's how I first learned it, let's say, kind of like as a baby Christian and prophetic person. So that's what I still do. <laughs> so People be like, oh, you don't need to do all that. Just, you know, blah, blah, blah. I'm like, listen, it's always worked for me. God does answer me. He speaks to me in dreams in different ways. But I could I could do Gideon's prayer too, okay? Let's not limit God. Let's not limit God, especially when, when we want to know something important like moving to what feels like another country, okay? Because I can't get salad on the corner here, okay? Homegirl's trying to watch her figure, you know. Yeah, better safe than sorry. You know, you move miles and miles away. So, the yeah, so the third time I asked, I said, you know, can I see, can I hear Texas three times if you want me to move, Lord? Because this is a big situation. What am I going to do? My mom is here. I, you know, my dad, I got to do this. And they expect me to do that. And 
I mean, everything was really going crazy. So then, um, so that day went on and on and on. I didn't hear anything. It went to the point where I forgot about it. I didn't even, it was like nine o'clock. I was coming from work late. And when I got home, I was still doing work. So I was typing, um, I was typing on my laptop and I was like, oh, I need some um, background noise. Okay, good. I need background noise. I'm just going to put on the TV. Now, I don't really watch TV. So my TV was on the channel that it was on. I don't, part of the reason I didn't watch TV at home is just, one, it's a distraction. Two, I got home so late, there was no, there's no point in watching TV. Um, I'm either going to read the Bible, listen to a YouTube teaching, or, you know, try to go to sleep. Or I'm still doing work. So I was still doing work. And I put on the TV for background noise. And it was on TBN. It happened to be on TBN. And I was like, you know, I'm going to leave it there. It don't matter. There was a sermon going on. It didn't matter to me. I wasn't really, really listening anyway. So then at the end of the sermon now, this pastor, I don't even remember who it was. Um, he was like, so I'm going to be in Dallas, Texas. <laughs> On September, blah, 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 in something conference center. I was like, <laughs> I ain't live with nobody. So I was like, uh, <laughs> did anybody else hear that? <laughs> I was like, what is going on, Lord? What? So that was the first time I heard it that day. Okay. So I was like, huh. But I was still typing, do, 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 do. I'm back on my laptop. I just need background noise. I was like, what have uh, you know, just acting like I didn't hear it, right? So then he goes on to mention another place that he's going to be. And somewhere else, okay, September, let's say 11, 12. It was like early September that he was talking about. So we're still in August, right? Early August. And he's talking about these conferences. Then the third conference he mentioned... Ask me what he said, Jacqueline. He said, and then you can join me in Dallas, Texas at so-and-so, blah, blah, blah. And I was like, he said like on September 12th or something. I was like, say what now? Are you serious? Like, God, you going to do that to me? But I was like, you know what? You are God of the angel armies. You are El Roy. You see everything. You are El Elyon. You know that was only two times. And you know that I prayed in my mind that morning for three times. So I thought I was getting smart, y'all. I thought I was going to be smart. I thought I was getting smart. He the man. He the, he the God. <laughs> he the only God. The one and true God blazing fire god so i was like i'm gonna take off this tv right now <laughs> i got brooklyn i was like you know what we're just gonna click i took off the tv first of all i got scared i was like oh no i think he's serious about this thing <laughs> i think he's serious this time so i was like oh snap he flexing on me <laughs> so that was crazy. I mean, it was crazy. I'm sitting, I'm sitting typing in the dark. Like I'm on the laptop, just trying to finish up this work. Just, you know, just trying to get it out and go to sleep. And this man talking about Dallas, Texas twice, right? So I was like, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. I took off the TV. Guess what I did? Yeah, I I was scared because now I'm getting so much confirmation. I don't even know what to do with it. So now the third time was now I'm on the laptop. Okay. So that was twice. I was like, Oh, God knows. I asked for three. No problem. So I thought I was being smart, took off the TV thinking I'm not going to hear it again for sure. So I went to YouTube and I was like, I still need background noise though, you know? And I just wanted to finish up this report. And on my YouTube recommended list, um, they had Ashley, Ashley Empowers is her name. 
So you got one more, one more of what? Oh, yes. So I so Ashley, so I'm about to tell you. So the YouTube, um, you know, YouTube gives you recommended videos. So Ashley empowers. I hadn't listened to her in a long time. Um, so I was like, oh, let me let me click on her. Yeah, let me click on her um YouTube video. I clicked on her YouTube video and um I actually didn't click on the video, I clicked on her name, right? And then her like she has a clipped video there, like um something that they pinned to the top. So it just started playing. So I was like, oh good, I don't have to go through her videos and see what's new. Just let this talk because you just need background noise. Who cares? So I let her talk. And guess what? She started talking about her story about how she broke up with this guy, was devastated. And then God came through in a clutch. And some lady from Dallas, Texas, called her for a job interview while she was in Houston, Texas, I think it was, and said, if you can move quickly or something like that, your the job is yours so you know i was like oh my god it's a wrap so that's a long story short because i i went on to ask for like where what city i should live in all of that um because it, it really it wasn't dallas texas he told me he told me um on the bus to where and it actually turned out to be two towns together. So I had to ask God to break it down for me. Yeah. So on the bus that day, he gave me the towns and everything. Um, but I didn't know what the towns really were. But when I looked it up, it was two two different towns, but they're close together. So I had to ask him to confirm exactly which one break it down for me. And he did that. That sign was even funny, too. But anyway, so what he'll do sometimes is highlight certain signs, billboards that you pass every day that you don't usually notice. Um, and there might be numbers on them. You know what I'm saying? There might be numbers on them. And oh, okay, okay, okay. All right, all right. Okay, I think I know where that is now. It's kind of like up. It's a little past Dallas. Um, isn't there a Plano or something? So you moved from Texas to uh alabama jacqueline okay while well, she's coming back um so the planes oh oh so i know you were like what <laughs> no <laughs> oh from alabama to texas okay 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 that's awesome um so yeah so you know it's a thing and god will do that but I think what's happening is that, um, oh, okay, 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 I see. Um, I think what's going to happen is that there's a great revival coming. I think it's coming to Texas because I always told God I want to be a part of his revivals. So I know there's some areas. Oh, yep, yep. They would put my mom to cry on the phone, actually. She was fine with it. But they would like say, oh, your mother, hold on, your mother's crying because you're going to Texas. I'm like, what, what are you talking about? You just pumped her up to cry. You know, she don't even know what she's crying about right now. You just pumped her up to cry to get on, you know. So anyway, let me, so Jacqueline, that was just for you. Daughter didn't like it either. Yeah. But, you know, we do have to follow what God says. And everybody else might think we're crazy. But we know we're not crazy. I'm very logical. Um, anybody that knows my field of work, we have to be very logical. And um, we always look at facts. We always look at, we're always very um, analytical. So I don't play around. I don't play around when it comes to stuff like that. Um, and I'm not, I don't try to be overly spiritual or spooky. You know what I mean? But sometimes I was like, yeah, I'm going to have to confirm it to her because she's going to stay here and miss some, miss some, some kind of blessing, you know? So, so it's been working out since I've been here though. He's been providing for me in ways that I never would have imagined. So I know it's God. I know it's God. And they're all surprised. Like what? I'm like, yeah, yeah. I'm surprised too. But 
I'm not really because I know that God takes care of the people who obey him. It tells us that in Deuteronomy. So if you obey his word, you follow his word, you put it first. He takes care of you. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. I was like, why is he telling me to share this right now? I don't know. I wasn't going to go into it. But bless your heart. I hope that helps you and encourages you. Don't go back. I told him the other day, they're still talking about it. I'm like, no, I'm, I can't go back just because so-and-so is happening. Because when I was there, it was happening too. And nobody was listening to me. So it's not because I'm here now. <laughs> you know what I mean? So I'm like, stop it. You know? Yeah. 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 I'm still waiting on some more blessings now. Okay. I'm still waiting. So you go ahead and pray for me too. <laughs> um, I do want to know more of the reason why I'm here. I'm still like praying about that. I think my boo is here. That's what I think it is. I think my boo marriage, you know what I'm saying? Is, is here. It better be. <laughs> well, I got prophetic words about that, but, uh, you know, I pray against counterfeits and all that. But anyway, I'm not focused on that. I'm focused on like business and, you know, the word and just doing the work of God, being a doer and not just a hearer. So that's why I'm trying to do the scope on number. So that in, in essence, it means going higher in the spirit. And I was saying before that they created a 747-8 um Boeing plane thank you um for um right they created that type of plane and it's interesting because when you're going higher in the spirit you also see 748 so i think it's very also very interesting that we see it on the time clock many times so remember i said where you see it is going to be a clue you'll see it on the time clock um, and I think that means it's time to go up in the spirit. So let me give you some scriptures um, before we go. Um, Ezekiel 47. Ezekiel 47 is what the Holy Spirit gave me when I was studying this back when. Okay, and I always remembered it. Why? I'm going to read this part real quick to you all. And whoever gets catches this on a replay, I really hope it blesses you. I covered this scope under the blood of Jesus. Okay, um, so Ezekiel 47 is um, it's titled The River from the Temple. So it says, Afterward, he brought me again unto the door of the house, and behold, the waters issued out, um, issued out from under the threshold of the house eastward. Um, for, the for, for the forefront of the house stood toward the east and the waters came down from under the right side of the house at the south side of the altar okay that's the beginning of it so then if you skip down to i'm gonna skip down to a few to ezekiel 47 and 3 and when the man that had the line in his hand went forth eastward he measured a thousand cubits tell me a thousand is not important in the bible one thousand one thousand fold from Deuteronomy 1 11, which usually means transition, you're transitioning into your inheritance. Okay. Um, 111 means that to me. Um, when I see 11 11 on the clock, which I've been seeing like crazy, crazy. So I knew I was doing some kind of transition, and transition was rough. It's been a rough week, but praise God, I have people like Valerie to pray for me, Evangelist Valerie. She's on Periscope as well. She's cool. Um, and, you know, I just know. I just know, like, you're going higher when you see those things. So you will see, you might see 211, 311, 411, 511, 611, 711, 811. You turn around, it's 911 on the clock. 1111, 111 on the clock or somewhere else, you know. It means God is lining things up for you. Um, you're in a season of transition. And I think more people talk about this one because so many people see it often, right? But it just reminds me of this as I'm reading Ezekiel 47 and three, because that corresponds to a thousand, like a thousand fold blessing, a thousand. Um, I think Solomon burned a thousand, thousand incense unto the Lord. 
he burned something. Well, he offered a thousand or something to the Lord. I know that. So search that out, you know. Um, and so he said, and he brought me through the waters. The waters were to the ankles, right? To the ankles. That's Ezekiel 47 and 3. But then it says in 47, 4, again, he measured a thousand and brought me through the waters. The waters were to the knees. So what does that mean? It's at the ankles and then it's at the knees. It's going up higher. The water is going up higher. That's why when you see yourself in the water, in, in a dream, if it's clean water, not dirty water, not really mixy water, what we call mixy in Brooklyn. Um, well, I think West Indians just say that. Um, when you see yourself in the water in a dream and it's clean, it represents the Holy Spirit, the living water, living fountain, living water. You know what I'm saying? Everlasting water, you know? Um, so then it was to the knees. So first to the ankles. So you could underline ankles in Ezekiel 47 and 3. Then you could underline knees in Ezekiel 47 and 4. So I don't know if people see this, but when I was studying um, the number 47, because I kept seeing it on the clock, and then I also saw it with 747, which is a plane going higher, right? And so when you see a plane in, in your dream, depending on what it's doing, what's happening, um, it probably means going higher in the realm of the spirit. I also learned that from Prophetess Tamara McNair, who, who will, she interprets dreams and stuff like that. I have been following her for a long time. So I learned it from that. I learned it from asking the Holy Spirit. I've seen certain vehicles in my dream, like trains and whatever. If you see ships, sometimes it's a big ministry. Um, sometimes it means a big ministry. It depends on what's going on in the dream. I don't really do a dream interpretation. I just try to study my dreams. You know what I mean? <laughs> like you got to start off small first. But numbers is my thing. Yeah, buses. I see all of that in my dream. So I really don't know um, for me what it means. Um, if it necessarily means big ministry, because I've seen trains, I've seen a ship, I've seen, I've seen the ship in the Hudson River. So I'm like, oh no. Um, and I've also seen me on a long red bus. I don't know. So, um, okay. So then you go to Ezekiel 47.5. Um, so, oh no, 47.4 says to the knees, right? So 47.3, you underline big buzz a few years ago. And I found a, I had a big, yeah, so, you, okay, okay, yeah, see, see, I don't know what mine is in particular yet, but I feel like he's probably going to tell me soon so I can get rocking because, you know, sister getting older. Yeah, okay, wow, wow. You love the kids. I don't know. I don't know how I feel about I know. I like seniors. I like seniors. I do think it takes a lot of love and patience to love the kids. Jacqueline. It takes <laughs> I do want to have kids one day though. But I, I'm I I love seniors. I like seniors. I think they're cute and they're funny. They're like firecrackers. I love them. I always call them firecrackers. I like firecracker people anyway. So the kind of misfits and so okay and then it says again <laughs> yes um again he measured a thousand there goes a thousand again and he brought me through and i even think it's important how many times you see a thousand in this um okay i heard no it's not <laughs> but anyway let me stick to what i know right Okay, so, and brought me through. The waters were to the loins. So, 47.4, it goes from the knees to the loins. Okay? And then 47.5, it says, afterwards, he measured a thousand, and it was a river that I could not pass over. Mm. For the waters were risen. The waters were risen. Waters to swim in. Remember I talked about swimming in a large body of water. 
that is clear, clean, usually represents the Holy Spirit, you moving in things of the Spirit, moving in things of the Spirit. Okay, so this actually confirms that too. It speaks to that too. So waters to swim in. So the waters were risen, waters to swim in, a river that cannot be passed over. And he said to me, son of man, hast thou seen this? Then he brought me and caused me to return to the brink of the river. Now when I have returned, behold, at the bank of the river, were were very many trees on one side and on the other. Then he said unto me, these waters issue out toward east country, the east country, and go down into the desert and go into the sea, which being brought forth into the sea, the water shall be healed. Awesome. The water shall be healed. So there were many trees around the water. Water shall be healed. Um, and so then it goes on to talk more about basically the living waters, <laughs> living waters, great multitude of fish, um, how, um, the water, the waters were clean, the waters were clean and healed and how it brought forth life, um, a great multitude of fish. You know, the trees were healthy. So that, to me, is very important. I really think you should read the whole Ezekiel 47. But that speaks to going higher, going higher, taking a higher level in the spirit. And then um, in Ezekiel 47, uh, 13 through 23, basically talks about taking over the land. Yeah, please read it. And then also, Jacqueline, uh, Genesis 47. And you'll you'll see. You'll see how it talks about going higher um, and going higher in the spirit and taking, getting more of your inheritance. Getting more um, land is what it discusses. Jacob, you know, and the blessing and all that. Um, or was it Joseph in that one? Genesis 47, Genesis 47 and Ezekiel 47. Um, you'll also notice that four plus seven is what? 11, 11, which is also signifying transition. So if you study the numbers in Hebrew um, and in Greek, you'll see a lot of parallels. And then you ask God for scriptures. That's how I got these scriptures. I asked God for scriptures. Um, you know who was another good person to listen to? Who She touches on some numbers. She doesn't see all of them. Okay, 11, yeah. And you'll see it like on the clock every time. You know, like 311, 411, 511. And I'll be like, oh my gosh, I'm going through a transition again. But anyway. <laughs> but anyway, um. Those are numbers I just don't get happy to see. Yeah, I'm sorry. I've been seeing 543. And when I asked the Holy Spirit, I don't know if I'm wrong or right yet, but I believe I'm right. I believe the Holy Spirit's right. Um, I heard kingdom authority. So I see 543 on the clock. I see a bunch of numbers, but then 543 is new for me. But this lady, nice lady, um, she's a warrior too in the spirit. She goes out. It's funny because I changed it. Oh, wow. Oh, okay, okay, okay. I feel like that's what I'm doing, right, too? Because I never talked about numbers before on Periscope. But I have an Instagram page, y'all, um, called Numbers of God. Yeah, so I do that. I do that because I can explain it there. I don't have to show my face. You know, I can just, you know, I don't got to get prepared for it. I just post it as I see it and study and then, you know, study and then post it and talk about it. If I don't already know what it means, like I see 313, 414, 717. 17 talks about victory. Okay. I know that because the Holy Spirit at the time that I was seeing it a lot, um, literally said it to me it means victory 
<laughs> so, so sometimes he give me the easy thing. Like he'll just say it. It means victory. So with 543, I heard, um, go oh, gotta share the website. Okay. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. And um, if you have Instagram, it's called Numbers of God. And they don't let me capitalize the G, so I'm sorry. I really would like to. Oh, okay, F Facebook. Okay, okay. I never seen them on Facebook. Hmm. But um, that's good. You need to get the word out because you know everybody has um a ministry. Okay, so everybody has people that they will reach out to. Everybody has an audience. God wants His word to get out to as many people as possible. So that's what I'm about to tell you about um, Nikki Pratt. She talks a lot about, so when I was first seeing numbers, I was searching for it. Like, is anybody talking about this? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Um, you don't have to, you don't have to, but yeah, I know what you mean because it's time consuming too. Like if you got to, you know, get prepared, get on and, you know, make sure you do things in decent order. Yes, God was de <laughs> okay. So you're like me. That's what I mean, because I was like, this don't got nothing to do with career, Lord. Um, that's kind of what I, you know, if uh, you can't be in the branding and stuff like that when you're dealing with the Lord. I mean, you can be, but um, you you're probably gonna have different platforms for everything, and I don't got time for that. <laughs> I don't got time for that. I, don't, I mean, I had the Instagram page with the numbers, numbers of God, but. I'm not doing another platform, you know what I'm saying? So I'll just mix, I'll just mix it in with the career stuff, whatever. I'm me, you know? Um, so, you know, cause God don't play. He'd be like, look, I done told you. <laughs> He's like, look, if you, if you're going to need a dream about this, we're going to have problems. <laughs> You shouldn't need a dream about everything, okay? So I, I was like, okay, okay, okay. Um, so what else was I saying? Okay, so though, you know, 17 means victory, but you can also see it in the word. I think Joseph did something when he was 17. Um, so look that up, Joseph and age 17. Sometimes it's the, the years, the number of the years of rain. Okay, so when... When you see a number corresponding to years of rain, it may mean authority, right? Yeah, he does. He does. He deals with you about it. And that's what people don't understand. Like, they don't even know what that means, you know? Um, they just think you're crazy. Like, um, but a lot of us say it. So I think because we also use it loosely, people tend to not understand what that means. And I used to call it like a nagging when I was a little bit younger in this stuff um i used to call it it feels like a nagging until you say the thing kind of like um ezekiel 33 and 3 and that's another thing 333 three, three means fresh revelation so i always know that i'm about to get yeah fresh revelation still do call it that yeah yeah i try not i try not to <laughs> See, the Holy Spirit is nagging, you know what I'm saying? I started feeling a way about that. But it, but that's how I would describe it to someone who doesn't understand it. It's like you feel like something's on your head if you don't get it off your chest. And that's what I'm doing. That's why I'm doing this broadcast, even if there's one or two people, because there may be somebody in the replay that's like, oh, I'm I'm actually I've been asking the Lord about these numbers because I know that when I was asking the Lord about a lot of different things, he would lead me to YouTube videos. Okay. Even when I wasn't going to church, he would lead me to YouTube videos to study. Yes, yes, yes. That is how I feel. Okay. You know, we can't always go by what we feel, girl. Okay. <laughs> um, and I just try to be more careful about what I confess and stuff like that. But it's like a nudging. Let's say it's like a nudging instead, because nagging has some, like negative connotation. It's just like, um, yeah, it's like a nudging, um, to do something. That's what we mean when the Holy Spirit is like kind of um kind of prompting you to do it it keeps coming up like it, it just keeps coming up it keeps coming up 
And for me, it was coming up all day and I was on other people's scope. And I was like, well, I can't do it now because this popular person is on. So um, I don't think anybody's going to be watching this. But I think like God doesn't care about that because he knows that he's going to send someone who needs it and they're going to do either a replay or they're going to be on it at the time or something like that. Like you, right? The, the the person who also moved and actually wanted to hear a little bit of that story, right? So so that was funny to me because he's like, no, say no. Because I was supposed to do a YouTube video about that. But then when I found out you had to edit YouTube and all that, I was like, no, I'm not. I mean, okay, I eventually will. Because <laughs> I hear, yes, you will. <laughs> um. Yeah, I'm going to, yeah, probably that's what I'm going to be doing when I do the rest of the numbers. Um, But what other numbers do you see, Jacqueline? Because I'll come back and do some others. Um, But if you tell me the ones you see and if I see them too, um, I can do those first. Yeah, because YouTube is like so much stuff. I could do those first instead of um doing a random order. You know what I'm saying? Or I could do the popular ones. Three 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 four 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 um five 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 you know is abundant grace. I see twelve thirty five. Twelve thirty five is like God's lining things up uh for you in the realm of the spirit. Sometimes I see my number, my my um birth date on the clock. To me it's on oh, ninety. Girl, you seeing different kind of numbers. You need to do those <laughs> those on Facebook then, cause I, I yeah I don't I don't see one thirty five. You see one thirty five regularly. You know what's funny about this is that when you're not seeing a number, and then somebody tells you about a number, you start seeing it too. God is funny like that. And I remember Nikki Pratt saying that, and then I started seeing more and more numbers. And I think when yeah when you're very um diligent with it. And you go and you study out it out, whether you talk about it to somebody or not, or you spread the word or not about it. When you ask God and you say, Lord, what does this mean? Holy Spirit, please show me. Give me a scripture. Tell me a scripture about what this number means. What are you trying to say to me, Lord? Because um, <laughs> you're racking your brain trying to figure out, you know, why do I keep seeing this? And everywhere you see it, you're like, mm. I woke up 444 this morning. I was like, what? Um, no, I think it was the other morning, but I'll be up in the middle of the night, like so. Um, but it's weird when you wake up to it on the clock, like three, three, three. You like, mm. <laughs> who else is seeing these numbers? You know what I mean? Like, what else is going on? And I see five 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 every now and then. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yes. So you'll start seeing it on your receipts. You'll start seeing it on your receipts. And remember, I said, kind of ask God about if it means something about what. Yeah. Yeah. Or I'll see something like water bottles for the price. Uh, 333, three, three, like a big pack. I'm like, 333. Three, three. So I take a picture of it and then I put it on my Instagram because it's easy to do. It's easy and fast. And I say, okay, when you see this number, pray that the Lord will give you fresh revelation. Or when you see 222, two, two, or sometimes I see 2222, two, two, two. <laughs> I see four twos on my receipts. I see it on signs in, in Texas and everything, like on the way to the airport. Um, I, I decree and declare stuff. So I would decree and declare, Lord, let no man shut any door. No man can shut any door that you open. And every door you open, um, no man can close. You know, um, so every door you shut, you know, no man can open. And, every, you know, Isaiah 22 and 2, 22 and 22. So the Lord will lead you to certain scriptures. Um which you should study out because it's really not about the number again. It's about him wooing you, leading you to study more of him. It's not about like, oh my God, I saw that number again. The number is not the superstar. You know what I mean? Like the number is not the superstar. 
God is the superstar. He is the righteous king. He is El Shaddai. He is Jehovah Nisi, Jehovah Sikhanu, Jehovah Rapha, M Kadesh, you know, El K M Kadesh. So he's the one who sanctifies us. You know, it's not about the numbers. You're not going to find numbers. Just like dreams. It's not like a focus on the dream. It's just that it's a tool that he used. I am that I am. Amen. It's a tool that he used in the Bible to speak to us. That's all it is. It's a tool. It's a tool. It's a tool. It's a tool. So I'm going to stress that because there's going to be some super religious folks that probably run into this scope. Don't come at me. <laughs> Amen. I'm reformed and revised. I'm the revised version. <laughs> um, so I'm not trying to get into debates about that. I know that the Lord uses numbers to speak to me. Um, he uses other things to speak to me too. Dreams, visions, all that. Trances. I mean, you know, a lot of things happen when you pray. When, especially when you're praying in the spirit a lot, you'll start having more heightened experiences, right? And angels are all around us. You know what I mean? You command your angels to go before you, make the crooked way straight every morning, you know, so you, you're praying, so you're going to see more things. And then if you're a person who's inquisitive and you're asking God for more and you're asking him about more things, he will make ways to answer you. So the point is, is that it's to draw us more into relationship with God. That's the whole point of you seeing the numbers. That's the whole point of you searching out the answer about what they're about in the first place. Why am I seeing these numbers? Some people, you know, and we all see, a lot of us see it. So unsaved and saved people will see it. It rains on the just and the unjust. So, you know, they see it too, but they try to make something else out of it because they have no idea who the Lord is. You know, and no, or maybe nobody's talking to them about it. And so that's why more of us, Jacqueline, have to get out there because we all have an audience. You know what I mean? Like there can never be, you know, um, I want to say a closed market, like, oh, no, you know, oversaturated market with this kind of thing, because God wants it's just like the gospel. God wants us to get his word out. So this is like a way in which he communicates with his people that they don't even know he's trying to communicate. Like I saw something on YouTube where, yeah, um, they were trying to, I forgot his name. He's black. He was an ex-football player. He has like a gap in his teeth. I don't know what, what his name was, but they had some scientists on, on the show and this is a YouTube video because I don't even watch TV. I don't have the TV set up or anything. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to get it set up, y'all. But um, don't judge me. <laughs> um, and they were trying to analyze dreams. I was like, oh, that's wrong. They need to go see Prophetess Tamara. I was <laughs> like, I don't know what they're talking about. So they were trying to analyze dreams. And they were saying, basically, it's always what you were thinking about in a day. That's not true. That's not true. Yeah. There, first of all, there's no competition when it comes to God. There's no competition. He needs us to all go out to speak to his people. And we're all seeing different numbers. Like, I don't see all the numbers. I see a lot of them. I mean, because I, I know that because I wrote a list because I was so curious about it. I got so curious that I wrote a whole list of all the numbers that I see on a regular basis, right? Because sometimes they go like, you stop seeing them for a season or a time. I can't even say a season. Season sounds long. Uh, I might see it, stop seeing it for two weeks or so. So like five, 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 I just started seeing it again. And probably where it was like maybe two, three weeks, I went without seeing it. And I was like, okay, okay, God, your abundant grace is falling upon me. I feel like he's like, don't worry, chill out. You know, you worry too much. He tells me I worry too much many times. So, I mean, I get prophetic words about that. <laughs> like, why do you worry so much? The Lord says, don't worry so much. And I'm like, I don't know. You got me in Texas. I don't know why I'm in Texas, Lord. <laughs> so, 
So yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah, keep keep um listing it and don't do like me, like put them all in one place so that when this time comes where you have to be on a periscope or whatever, if you want to talk about a bunch of them at the same time, you'll have all the notes that you've been writing over the years. You know what I'm saying? You have notes that you've been writing over the months, over the weeks, whatever it is. I wrote them down. I would text them to myself. I would write it down to myself. And when I hear the Lord say something, <laughs> thank you. Um, it's crazy because it's my normal personality. I'm just being, I'm just being who I am on this thing. Um, yeah, I would text it to myself, just like a dream or something like that, or a vision. And you know, yeah, yes. And he's like, calm down, right? Like he's like, stop worrying. And he'd be like, man, why can't I get a normal prophetic word like everybody else? Like something nice and you know, something, yeah, <laughs> something, um, something juicy, you know, um, but no, I, I get like, chill, <laughs> I said, cash your kids on me, <laughs> I'm, I'm giving him a voice that he don't got, but uh, <laughs> I'm just playing, but, um, that's what he said, cash your kids on me, he said his yoke is easy, his burden is light, um, so we shouldn't be worrying. <laughs> we shouldn't be worrying. Yes, yeah, share with your followers too. Um, if this pleased you or blessed you, um, maybe they're seeing some numbers. Maybe y'all just don't get a chance to talk about it. Cause I know some people saw numbers and only when I brought it up, would they tell me? Um, so, oh, I was going to say Nikki Pratt on YouTube. <laughs> uh, you're funny. So Nikki Pratt on YouTube. She sees numbers like 444333. And I know when I was just getting into it, she was like the only godly person that I that I found that I was I felt like I was led to her. And because when they're talking about those angels number, oh angels numbers, like y'all, be careful what people believe. Be careful who's teaching you. Um, you really gotta be led on it. You gotta have real discernment. And um you know, you don't want to follow anything like that, okay? So definitely, definitely um, make sure that you are being led of the Spirit. So, yeah, Nikki Pratt was the only one that I found that was really, like, um, godly. You know, looking at the numbers in a godly way. And she's, um, yes. She's very, um, you know, she's very excited about the Bible all the time. And she'll go through the study and everything with you and with her followers. And I, I like it. I love it. Um, so she was asking me about 313 and I gave her some revelation on 313 recently. So she shares. We share and we're open about it. So we're not like, oh, that's my number. No, it's not my number. It's God's numbers. It's not my number. So um, it's awesome because if she's seeing some numbers and I'm not seeing those numbers, then I start end up seeing it and vice versa. You know, I could say, oh, did you see this or, you know, that. And so that's how she is with her followers. So she's on YouTube and I think she's only on YouTube. I don't really know anybody else that I would listen to about numbers on YouTube. I, again, I was searching the Lord out about it from the beginning. So I think he just led me to um, someone like Nikki Pratt to get confirmation on what he already gave me or get more insight into what I was seeing and hearing from him. Cause she went, she went deeper on the four, four, four. She went much deeper in the 444. I never went that deep in, into the 444. But yeah, 444 means a lot of things. You know, the four faces of the cherubim, right? Um, the four gospels, the four corners of the earth. Um, I heard Jennifer Evias, I think her name is, says, oh, when I see 444, see, there are prophets who see 444, and five, 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 but they don't see all the numbers. So sporadically, they might talk about it. 
So that's the only time I hear them talk about it. They don't focus on it because that might not be their flow. Their flow might be them talking about dreams and visions or discernment of spirits or something like that. Like Jennifer Evias, I think is how you say her last name. She, um, I listen to her a little bit now because she talks about discernment of spirits, right? You know, which I move more and more in now and I mean I think I was did but you you can grow levels in your um you can grow your discernment basically and um she said you know she's seen this number 444 she said it randomly in one of her teachings God was telling her she's going to the four corners of the earth and so I was like yes 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 okay so that's how sometimes the Holy Spirit would give me confirmation because somebody will talk about it randomly in their teaching and 